<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So as by the title, you must have known that it's gonna be a very fun video. But we have some guests uh, that's gonna be joining and I'll be asking them some questions. Trust me you guys, it's gonna be all fun, yeah? It's gonna be skincare related, but it's gonna be fun. Hi, this is Imli. Tiali here. Hi, Walu here. Are you excited to be here? Yeah, I'm excited. Quite nervous. Oil cleansers or cleansing balm? For me, it's definitely oil cleansers. Because I've always been using oil cleansers. I have tried cleansing balms, but for me, oil cleansers are more convenient mm -hmm. because I use makeup. Mm -hmm. So oil cleansers for me, definitely. Uh, ginseng oil by Beauty of Johnson. Mm -hmm. Because it is, although it's lightweight, it's very effective. Like I wear makeup which has uh, waterproof makeup like mascara and eyeliner. So it effectively gets rid of all my makeup, my sunscreen. And it doesn't sting my skin, doesn't irritate my skin. So I'm leaving for the BOJ ginseng oil. Do you watch K-drama? Oh, uh, people might think that I'm a K-drama addict but I'm not. not. Like, the only K-drama I've seen was like Boys of Flowers. It was oh, years and years back. Me too. So, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea about like K drama. Oh, Kim Bob. And I love Kim Bob. Oh, um, yeah, he's so who? cute. Kim Bob. Oh, Kim Bob. Yeah, so cute. I know. <laughs> I, he's the only one that I follow. <laughs> hey, Tia. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Oil cleanser or cleansing balm? I would choose cleansing oil for sure. And I love the Tear Clears cleansing oil. With my oily skin, it also comes the blackheads for mm. sure. So it really helps me clear my pores mm. and then get rid of my blackheads at the same yeah. time. Do you apply makeup? No, I'm not a makeup person, so I don't usually use mm -hmm. like makeups and stuff. But yes, I use sunscreen, so I have to use a good cleansing oil mm. to wash up the sunscreen. Okay. Yeah. Hi Nola. Hi Eva. Good to have you here. Yes. Thank you so much yeah. for saying yes. <laughs> All right, Nola, I have a question for you. Since yeah, sure. you took a course for the makeup, mm -hmm. guys, if you are looking for makeup artist, you can go to her. Right. So I have a really simple question for yes. you. What is the most important thing in a makeup look? Like a tip. Okay, for beginners, always remember one rule. The, the topmost rule, it is to always choose the right shade of foundation for you, and always apply your makeup with proper skincare. Like, don't skip your toner, serum, mm -hmm. moisturizer, and most importantly, your sunscreen. That is the most important thing. And always remember in makeup that less is more. Right? Ooh, yes. HA or BHA. Mm, both are equally important, but I'm currently using AHA, so I'd go for AHA. Also using the Biwish Trend Mandelic Acid, but right now I'm using the Isentree 8% AHA because it's less drying and also it is very good for people with sensitive skin. So like I mentioned, I have my skin is dry but a little on the sensitive side. Mm -hmm. So it is really, really uh, calming and also effectively gets rid of my flakiness, whitehead. AHA or BHA? I definitely go for the Cosrx HABHA treatment toner mm -hmm. because as you know, for my acne, I have to exfoliate mm -hmm. no matter what. Also, you know, the treatment toner really helped me minimize the size of my pores. Mm -hmm. It was so large and I had really issues with my pores. Yeah. But then it has really, you know, yeah. helped me I can yeah. hardly see the pores. <laughs> like... Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Do you exfoliate? Yes, obviously. This is the key that my <laughs> acne scars are getting lightened. Yes. Right. <laughs> Alright. HA or BHA? I would definitely choose the AHA for my skin concern. I'm using the AHA Whitehead Power Liquid since I have diminishing towards the oilier skin. You know ever how my skin was before? And after using the AHA 7 Whitehead, it has lightened my acne scars. So I'll definitely give a 10 on 10 for this. For me, uh, you know, as you can see, I have both blackheads and whiteheads. Mm -hmm. I use the same one, the Cosrx AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid. Also, I uh, include BHA mm -hmm. in my routine. AHA once in a week mm -hmm. because I have a really sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. Then I include BHA, mm -hmm. so it's like I balance it. Yeah. So it's both. You can always choose both AHA and BHA for your mm -hmm. routine. Don't just think that ah, I'm using AHA, so I cannot use BHA. Exactly. Yeah, you can balance it. Yeah. Physical or chemical? I would go for physical. For dry skin like mine, I'm currently using the Cosrx Allo Soothing Sunscreen. Ooh. That one is really good for people with dry skin like mine. And it's so hydrating mm -hmm. and it doesn't irritate my skin as well. So the Cosrx Allo Soothing Sunscreen. Physical or chemical? Definitely physical. 
of course I love as I've mentioned before I love the access white physical sunscreen and that's the secret to my you know glowing skin <laughs> the main reason why you opt for this access white physical sunscreen is because of the main ingredient that's Marwood of course the people are concerned about the white colors for their physical in physical yes. sunscreen but that's not an issue yes. when it comes to access white physical it's sunscreen it's like a magic right yeah. like it blends in just yes. in no time at yeah. first you'll see like white cast yeah, and yeah. then just give it a time and then it blends mm -hmm. in so it well. It gives you that glowy, dewy skin, I should say, yeah. Yes. <laughs> physical or chemical? I would go for the chemical, the Isindri Hyaluronic Acid mm -hmm. Watery Sun Gel. I love, 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 love this sunscreen. You know, the way it blends on my makeup is more than enough to say how hydrating it is. So if I have to choose, I would definitely go for the Essential Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Do you agree guys? I'm definitely sure you guys agree with me. <laughs> yeah. That's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you found this video interesting and helpful in any way, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And there are lots of fun contents coming up just for you. We'll be listing down the product links on our description so make sure you guys go check